Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here, and this is my review of The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 3. So, this episode was okay. It was kind of, it seemed a little fillery. It seemed like it was kind of a filler episode. I mean, it wasn't bad. It, it, I, I liked it. I think I liked it. I think for me it was maybe a 6, 7 out of 10. I feel like I need to rewatch it, um, because I certainly didn't hate it. There's really nothing bad in the episode. I just, I don't, I'm not sure if there's anything great in the episode either. Maybe a couple of things, I don't know. But, it was a good episode, I think. I, I, feel, I feel like it was a good episode, and, and I, I enjoyed episode one pretty good. Like, an 8 out of 10 premiere. I love episode two, probably 9, 10 out of 10. And then this episode's just kind of okay. So, overall, you know, three episodes into this season, and... I'm happy with how things are going, I'm happy with the season and how it's doing. So Eugene and Rosita, I really like the dynamic between Eugene and Rosita. I love both actors, I'm so happy that Rosita got to survive her comic death because I'm, I'm just, I'm glad that they're really going deeper with the Eugene-Rosita dynamic because they've had a dynamic for seven years in real life, you know, they've had seven seasons straight we've had Rosita and Eugene. And I really like this, this, the, that scene between them. And, uh, you know, at the beginning of the episode, the, there's, I mean, probably the, be the beginning of the episode is one of the better parts of the episode. Just all the cuts and, and showing the main characters getting exhausted, killing all the waves of walkers. I, th I thought that was pretty cool. And, you know, everyone's tired and Rosita's tired. And, and Eugene says something that's really not all that bad, something about she shouldn't be risking her life because she should, you know, she has a baby. And, and that, honestly, I mean, that's not really a bad thing to say. Like, if you have a baby and it's like war, I can understand someone being like, dude, don't, don't go there. Like, stay with the baby. Like, you know, give them, let them have a parent or two parents and stuff like that. So, you know, I kind of understand what Eugene is saying, um, but Rosita just sort of snaps at him. And I love Rosita, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> she just snaps at him and is like, Eugene, we are never, ever, ever going to be, the, you know, a thing. And and Eugene kind of gets upset, and Eugene kind of has this this moment that's kind of sad. I don't, I don't know if it was a little too much. Um, it was really dramatic, but... Eugene is just like, you know, I, I, for seven, eight years now, I, I've i been your friend because I've always thought that we'd get back to, like, we would get together, and, you know, now I realize we're not going to get together, and I realize I'm just being a, I've been a crap friend all this time. Like, Eugene's saying, you know, he hasn't, but he's not a good friend to Rosita because all he wanted to do was be with her for all these years, and he, he like, kind of, he just gets really upset, and it's... I mean, it's a sad moment, and I think it's okay, but, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I kind of like the, the way Rosita, Rosita and Eugene ended last season, where it, it seemed like she, he knew that she just wanted to be friends with him, and, and she was, like, they had, they had moved past that, but I don't know. I don't know if, if, if this was necessary, and if it was necessary, did it have to be that dramatic? I, I don't know. I mean, I love Rosita and Eugene. But, I, I don't know. <laughs> and then there is Negan and Aaron, and I really like them. I really like Negan and Aaron. I, I like that because Aaron was one of those people that was at the Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Aaron was there. And Aaron sort of has a person, not only that, you know, not only did Aaron experience that, that very traumatic thing of Glenn and Abraham getting their heads bashed in and him not being able to stop it, but... But the death of Eric, who he was fighting with to you know stop the to stop Negan. So Aaron kind of he has a few reasons to really hate Negan, and I loved the back and forth between Aaron and Negan, where Negan's Negan's saying that Eric's death might have kind of been Aaron's fault, and then Aaron is like, well, it's your fault that your wife died, and. <laughs> I mean, that was good, but, I mean, what, did, did, who told Aaron, Gabriel? It'd have to be Gabriel, so did Gabriel just run off to Aaron and gossip about Negan's wife? I don't know. I, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know, how, like, how did Aaron find out about Negan's wife? <laughs> but, uh, I'm assuming there's some logical way that Aaron found out, 
but um, it was still a, it was still a cool moment. I didn't expect it, and I was just like, oh dang, Aaron said that like crap. But um, that was cool. And so the the plot line with Carol, Carol, Carol seeing ghosts, um, and that I like that. I like the, I like the little creepy parts of the episode where we see Henry and we see the picture, and it's like everyone's all the kids that that Carol's ever known is that's dead. You know, Lizzie, Mika, Sam, uh, uh, Sophia, and then Henry, and they're they're all dead, and and Henry's decapitated. And then there's some some little fantasy that Carol has, and I, I couldn't tell if if Carol and Daryl were married in the fantasy or something. Like Daryl was cooking dinner or something, and then Henry was there, and that was creepy. So I, I like I like that part of the episode, and Carol just being crazy, well not crazy, but just having hallucinations, and and. She's, she has a, an addiction to pills because she's not going to like she she doesn't want to sleep because she just wants to kill Alpha and, and she's and uh, you know for, you know I'm 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 not sure how I feel about Carol right now I'm not sure quite how I feel about Carol because I mean I understand you know she's a mother that lost her son to 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 this woman but. You know, she's she's risking other people's lives. You know, they're not ready for war. They're, they're not ready to deal with that herd. They're not ready to deal with Alpha and and all the whispers. They're not ready. They're not trained yet. They haven't come up with a good plan. That's what Michonne says. You know, we haven't come up with a good plan. Do you have a plan? You know, we need to do this right so people don't get killed. So more of us don't get killed. And then there's you know Carol, <laughs> Carol who just kind of does whatever she wants, and she doesn't really care about the possibility of people getting killed because of her actions, uh, you know, people on their side getting killed because of you know her crossing the border, or her desperately trying to kill Alpha. She doesn't care about the consequences, and I mean, I understand it. Like you know, she's she's being a mother that lost her son, you know, she she, she doesn't care. And, um, you know, she, she spent, what, a few months away on a boat, and that was how she, she, that was the only way for herself to not go and kill Alpha. And now she's not on that boat anymore. She's, she's seeing Alpha. She's dealing with Alpha's stuff, of having to, to not go certain places because of Alpha, and she doesn't care. And, you know, she, she, she sort of, um, she sort of seeks danger. And, and she, I don't think she, she necessarily cares about getting herself killed or getting other people killed. I mean, she cares about getting other people killed, but she's just sort of being really reckless right now because, you know, she's a mother that lost her son to Alpha, so she wants to kill Alpha. And I understand that, you know, I, I completely understand that. So it's, it's very human for Carol, but, I mean, so far they've gotten lucky. You know, like, they, like, they've crossed the border a few times, and all... All Alpha wanted to, they wanted like more territory or something. They didn't kill any of them, so you know they got away with that. So you know Carol ha having that face off with Alpha, she got away with that. So you know I don't want Carol to do any more stuff because eventually Carol will do something that'll cause a main character or someone to get killed if Carol keeps being all reckless and, and crossing the border. Eventually Alpha will want someone innocent to die to see if that bothers Carol something like that and you know I don't want that to happen because like I just don't want Carol to get someone innocent killed so I don't know I don't know I, I like I like where they're going with her character it's just I don't know <laughs> ultimately this was just kind of a filler episode nothing amazing happened nothing you know nothing great happened but but it was okay it was an okay episode so uh, you know I'll, I'll, I'll give it like a six seven out of ten because, uh, you know, it was okay. It was okay. And the first two episodes have been good. So overall, I'm liking season 10 so far. I'm glad that season 10 has been as good as it's been. And, ho and hopefully the rest of the season will be good. And hopefully we'll get some really, really good episodes um, before the, maybe even before the mid-season break. So I'm really excited for the rest of the season. The first three episodes all together overall are pretty good so I'm really happy with how things are going I do hope that next episode will be better than this episode but from the trailers I think it'll be it'll it'll be a more action-packed episode 
with like more real story stuff happening so hopefully it will be better than this episode <laughs> anyway that's all i have for this video let me know what you think in the comments below don't be shy hit that like and subscribe i'm not going anywhere i make one or two walking dead videos per day so please hit that subscribe button Right now I am at 623 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 700 in the next few months. So just remember, every subscriber counts. Every bit of support matters and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that goal of 700. Anyway, with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes and I will see you guys later. Bye.